Okay, you have the doorway here. Yeah. Okay, then to the right, you have a hedge, and then yeah. you have um, an evergreen tree. If you follow yeah. that line straight back, courtyard's in there. Ah, okay. So, so that's where they have the ceremonies in The outdoor place. part of it. Part of it was indoor. So we only got to see the outdoor part. Right. We only got to, and, and to listen to the outdoor part. God only knows what went on indoors. And what did you hear? What, what was it you know? You managed to get this unique Oh, access it was disgusting. It was gross. I mean, they were pretending to murder people. What was the tone of it, though? Was it was it jokey? Or was it quite no, it wasn't jokey at all. It was it was sick. It's about the only thing to describe it. It was sick. What you're hearing is the first recording ever made of the Skull and Bones initiation ceremony. It has never been broadcast before. There's the chance too, difficult to hear first of all, but including the devil equals death, and death equals death. Then members performing a mock killing. We can find the order behind the Russian Revolution. Bolshevik Revolution. We can find the behind the rise of Hitler. We can find the behind. We can find the be in the maintenance of both of these systems to now, transfer technology to both. Since you've already proven that Wall Street is behind the Bolshevik Revolution and the rise of Hitler, now you're proving that the order is behind Wall Street. Exactly. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about what it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go wild. Sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the web. Number three two two. Tim Russert, the moderator of Meet the Press and NBC's Washington bureau chief, collapsed and died early this afternoon while at work at the NBC News bureau in Washington. What have Herbert Hoover, Art Linkletter, Jack London, and Richard Nixon all had in common? Well, they've all been members of the exclusive all-male Bohemian Club. Out of the way, God. I think partly because of the magnitude of the disaster and frankly partly because of the terrific way that the uh, American press has covered it and the press throughout the world. Uh... Um, and what that means is when these bloodline families go into positions of power, what we're actually doing is seeing these entities go into those positions of power. Manipulating my mind and programming me for mind control purposes claimed, and these criminals in control of our country as well, claimed to be gods, demons, and aliens in order that I feel totally helpless, in order that I felt like they were beyond my realm to affect. So these bloodlines can be, quote, possessed, their emotional, mental faculties taken over much more easily than the general run of the population does not have that hybrid DNA thus 
that vibrational sympathy compatibility between the two energy fields so what they're doing in effect is using the secret society network they've set up to manipulate these bodies into power but in doing so they're putting themselves into power because they're controlling the mental and emotional processes of these vehicles Let's go on with um, the subject of the Illuminati and its symbols. You will find the symbol of this secret society on the back of a one dollar bill. So he told me that you're going to see men running around caves looking for Osama bin Laden. You know, you're going to see men looking for, you know, these guys. And they're going to be, you know. They told you it was all going to be pulled. It's a phony. The whole thing is a fake. It's a fraud. Was he laughing or was he just coldly saying this? No, it was more laughing. Cynical. Laughing. You know, it's more like how stupid everybody is. Look how stupid everybody is. We can do whatever we want to do. Hunt down. Those people who committed this unbelievable, despicable act on America. I will get our troops home. We will bring an end to this war. I have determined that it is in our vital national interest to send an additional 30,000 U.S. troops to Afghanistan. I do not make this decision lightly. All of us who have served in this office understand that the office itself transcends the individual. And these uh, families are therefore simply vehicles of these demonic entities. And these gods are these entities which feed off human energy and feed off human blood too. And they're just continuing to do today covertly what they were openly doing um, in, in the past. And ultimately, they are possessed by these entities. 